Ashish, I would like to welcome you to this show. Um, it's the umbrella name is Next Story, where we are exploring what's coming and how people can adjust. And in this segment, we are talking about personal next. And uh, what better person than to have you, who has gone through the journey in the media industry, tremendous journey. So welcome. Thank you so much. What an amazing journey you have had. You know, in the space of media, what a tremendous transformation and you have been tremendously successful. Now business and creative head for many people want to be in that space, but they don't know how much transformation has to go through. So I would like to hear your story of what transformation you went through at a personal level uh, to reach this zenith of success, if I can call it, in this uh, new age media. Well, thank you for having me and thank you for the kind words, the checks in the mail. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know about the zenith of success. It's, it's uh, actually, I think the, the ride is just getting started. Very, very exciting times ahead. And honestly, uh, I think uh, we all need to sign up to be people who have a permanent learner's license. That's important uh, to really, uh, you know, keep learning, keep at it and then figure it out because everyone's still trying to just figure it out, <laughs> frankly. So as far as the ride is concerned, it's been quite fascinating. I uh, started out uh, uh, writing copy and then this middle class Maharashtra thing happened saying, are you mad? You can't be a writer for a living. Get a real job, you know? <laughs> so I did the sensible thing, uh, went to business school and uh, still wanted to be close to creative. Uh, the only options when I started out, which is sometime, you know, early 90s, uh, were advertising. So I went back to advertising, but I crossed over to the dark side. I switched to strategy, client servicing, account planning. I did that at Lintas for about five years and MTV came along. And that was just way too exciting a brand uh, to kind of decline. While I was loving what I was doing in advertising because I got a great kick out of, you know, being the new business boy uh, at Lintas. We used to walk away with 90% of the pitches that we made. And uh, MTV came along and uh, that was an incredible ride. I owe a large part of you know, what I've been able to learn, what I've be, I'm being able to do uh, due to my learning at MTV of really always working with a set of constraints in terms of uh, budgets and, and uh, you know, uh, things that you have to play with in terms of resources. But I was uh, fortunate to be surrounded by some of the most creative people I've, I've had the good fortune to work with and just a tremendous amount of learning and it, and it made me young, you know, just to be surrounded with that kind of energy. And uh, I made a lateral shift out of marketing, which is what I joined and I was running to create one content and eventually took on the p &L responsibility. And, and that's been a great learning that, you know, being profitable gives you the luxury to be creative, you know. So that balance is where the business and creative side kind of married, where you could make a choice and say, you know what, this one is a risk worth taking. It's not going to pay for itself right now, but hang in there. Don't be afraid of screwing up. And two years from today, it's going to probably pay the bills for everything else that you're trying to do. And that's, for example, how Roadies happened, which is one of our most, was one of the most popular shows that we did back then. Uh, and then I spent about 12 years at Viacom doing a, a variety of things. And there was movies, which was always on my bucket list. And somewhere I needed to just take that leap. And I wasn't getting any younger. So as luck would have it, uh, timing was perfect. And Yashraj Films came along. And it's the university of filmmaking. I mean, if you ever really want to make movies, I can't think of a better place to do that. And I took a leap, uh, joined YRF to set up their youth film studio, which is called Y Films. And again, I've been very fortunate that every uh, year and a half or every couple of years, I've been able to kind of reinvent myself. I've been pretty much mandated to reinvent myself with a new addition to the profile. So right from there, I added on brand partnerships, which is across the entire YRF portfolio of uh, associations with brands for marketing and promotions and so on and so forth. Talent management came along, uh, which was not something I'd done before, but hey, you know, nothing is rocket science, really. You'll figure it out. You know, it's a common sense, really, beyond a point. So I added that on. And then, of course, uh, sometime uh, late last year is when we took finally this crazy leap without a parachute, <laughs> almost like what just happened recently, right? That, that free fall into the world of original digital content. And that's been quite a ride. So, like I said, the, the learner's still learning. And... Uh, Fortunately, along the way, having a lot of fun. 